Alright, yo, you already know what it is. It's me, Zip with the drip. Let's get to that. I got a distinguished gentleman in the building with me, man. His name is Mark Vuitton. <laughs> nah, that's not his real name. It's not his real name. That's what I call him, man. A good friend of mine. This man made a lot of money, man. You're gonna wanna get familiar with his story. I got Marcus French show in the building, y'all. What's up, y'all? Hey, yo, um, so like you know, we get right to that here, man. We don't play no games, man. All we right. get right to it, man. You a Detroit player, man. You wear a lot of Louis Vuitton. <laughs> a lot of people might not know who you is. We know you very close to us, but I mean, let the people know some things about yourself, man. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, got it, got it. Uh, thanks for having me on too, bro. Appreciate uh, Marcus Crenshaw, known as a cool CEO. Now I'm a sports agent, entrepreneur, former pro basketball player. Um, I own a, a sports media company called. Uh, all in sports, fam sports agency, you know, just a straight entrepreneur, man. So Businessman like, now. All right, so you just said a lot of things. It's hard for me to keep track of. You said a professional basketball former player. Former professional basketball player. Former professional basketball player. Yeah. See, I right. most people that was professional basketball players before, they would never say a former professional basketball player. Like, they going to hold on to that. Like, you know, that's their biggest accomplishment in yeah, life. Yeah, but it ain't mine, though. It was, it, it's probably is some people's, though, but, you know, then... College, overseas, you know, all that same type of stuff. But I reinvented myself as a CEO and had super success here. So that's my biggest accomplishment now, my, my businesses. My biggest accomplishment, I would say, is selling my sports media outlet to overtime. With the ticket work? I can't get a ticket. It's in the contract. NDA, no yeah. disclosure. Yeah, but it's nice, that. though. Overtime is owned by, like, J Millionaire. Players. I already was a millionaire before that. You was a millionaire before that? Yeah. How you made your first million out? Um, selling my first company. All right, so let's get into that. Yeah. How did you create and start selling these companies for millions of dollars? Like, Okay. Um, My first company was like a clothing brand. You know what I'm saying? It was like a sports clothing brand. I would say I retired from hooping in about 2000 and maybe 14, 15. In Europe, I played about five, six years, something like that. I had I started with the t-shirts, dog. I started out the trunk. You know, it was like a you can't check me. It was a sports clothing brand called Hoop Crib. And I was so humble at the time. I still had money from overseas. I wasn't a millionaire, but I had some money from overseas. Shit, I took that, got a little F-150, and went on the road, dog. And hey, you turn the message, just start selling my t-shirts because I wanted to be uh I, I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I didn't want to hoop no more. So you was passionate about that. Facts. Out the trunk. Hey, you turn is myself. So I went from college basketball player, overseas player, to a whole summer of just selling t-shirts behind a desk at an AAU tournament. I said, what did it take for you to humble yourself like that? I saw a vision. I knew that I knew that I wanted to be a boss. I didn't want to have to keep going overseas. You know, I was making six figures, but I didn't want to have to keep going over there, away from my family, away from everybody. You know, I just felt like, you know, it was a bigger role for me in life. I felt like I had some, you know, some more shit to do. So that was the first company you sold? That was the first company. I sold half of it. When I sold half of it, I became a millionaire. Yeah, what, all right, so what they like, I mean, like, like a paper millionaire? Like, did you sold half of this much? I and had, so now I had, a, I had more than a million dollars after that. No, I sold half of it. And they bought in. So they bought in and they invested in it and they bought in for their half ownership. I became a millionaire instantly. Oh, you hit a lick. Yeah, you hit a lick. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fact. Let's yeah. get to that. Yeah, yeah I, I was a, I, I became a millionaire instantly off that. I never looked back. I was only about maybe 26, 27, something mm -hmm. like that. So you became a millionaire 26 years yep, ago. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, so. Okay. Um, How was that? Like, that was when fun for you? Money in it. Yeah, when they put their money in and told you you got to build this company up now, that was fun? You know what? It was good being a liquid millionaire, but what wasn't fun about it was it was this, this, this guy out of Florida, I don't even mention his name, but it was like, he was cool, but he was like kind of like a grimy kind of guy a little bit. So what happened is, is I built it up. So we got up to crazy sales. We got up to 70, 80,000 a month, sometimes 100,000 a month in sales. It's almost a million a year. Yeah, more than that. Like 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, whatever. Then we might do 100,000 a month. You know what I'm saying? Buy so stuff. average, the average was averaging out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was cool. That was the, that was the first year. The next year we increased it, and then what ended up happening is it's like you ever saw the uh, Fifty Cent book, um, 
You ever saw 40 Laws of Power, that book? Yeah, I read that when okay. it first came out. You know the number one rule, don't outshine the master? Never outshine the master. All right, cool, I did that. So that shit went to shits. Because you outshine the master? Yeah. So he was investing in me. He was like a, I think he was worth about five, six hundred million. And he was like my mentor for two years. So I was learning everything about selling companies. I watched him sell a company for 300 million, had a money. I watched him maneuver. And I was sitting at my office and my desk with him every day. And his office was right next door. So we spent every fucking day together. So I was learning so much about business. It took me to go to another culture to learn. That was a white guy. I ain't know nothing about all that. So what happened is, is how I shined it a master is the company that I ended up selling to Overtime, which was my second company, She Who's Network. I had a vision because I had signed a bunch of WNBA athletes to market the brand because I would start selling to women because women buy everything. I was like, yo, let's launch a media outlet as well while we got this going. That was the outlet that I had. And he was like, oh, no, what you mean? He like, man, you 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 moving too fast. You're going too far. And I remember one our last meeting ever, I sat down with him and he said, and I broke the blueprint of the new business too. Laid it all out. I laid it all out. And guess what he said? I thought he was going to be hype. He said, man, you done got smart as hell. He said, he was like, damn, when I first met you, I could think you under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't make you feel good though. Hell no, nah, because the energy <clears throat> in that room was like, what is you doing? The energy, it, he said that, but I had went too far trying to impress him, like the 40 Laws of Power say, and I kind of went past where he oh, wanted me to be at the time. So Because he was investing in it, even though I had that cheese. So what happened is, is it started becoming like a thing where he started trying to lock bank accounts down. And he started trying to, he was a rich guy. He started maneuvering. So I had to maneuver. And then I ended up having to, I was already millionaire. I had to sell some pieces and do some things just to get up out of that company. But I still left a millionaire. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Like, you could be, you could be, he got a hundred times more money than you. Still, still like, don't want to see you like that's crazy. They say that you see that on Instagram. That's see, like, real. Yo, people with more money can hate on you. Like, don't think they can't. Like, that's crazy. That's a prime example of that, y'all. Shit was crazy. Let's get to that. That was a real uh, test of so who you are. So after that, after that, oh you know, man, yeah. you say you started she hoops. Yup, network. She hoop network. Yeah, what's so, that about? So that was about like where obviously I was seeing like Bleacher Report and I was seeing all these things. And I was kind of like, when I was hooping overseas, I kind of became friends with a lot of like women's hoopers, WNBA players, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, damn, they don't really got no promotion. People be, you know, I'm like, damn, they don't really got no promotion. So I was like, what if I could create a network that, that showcases, I don't care if you're a toddler, high school, middle school, WNBA, college, what if I can have the only network that showcase everybody in their game that every fan they got, I can get. That's what I was thinking. And I seen how they buy up clothes and they buy everything. Yeah, you just said women buy everything. Women buy everything. I see how they buy up everything. Yeah, so I was like, if I can create a network, now I got a platform for them to actually promote, try to get the WNBA Mm -hmm. more lit. And I also got a platform to sell clothes and to sell a lot of things from because if I got a half a million or a million followers, I'm going to eat. Right. So... I created She Who's Network with one of my people. Created it. It was so crazy that from scratch. From scratch. Instagram started at zero. Posting, posting, posting. After a month, I had one Britney Griner, the girl that got locked up in Russia. Yeah. One Britney Griner Duncan highlight with music behind it goes viral in the women's basketball community. And then next thing you know, that shit started. Poop, 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 poop. Two months later, 200,000 followers. But not only 200,000 followers, we was doing 200,000 followers, 100,000 views per video. So it's like almost everybody that's following is seeing it and with the content. Because like on my on my Instagram, I get a lot of like, mm-hmm. I, I put something up, I get a lot of content to actually, I get a lot of comments, yeah, a lot right. of shares, a lot of likes. So like yours was getting a lot of comments, shares. Oh likes, man, it that. was the most because it was the only outlet that they have ever seen. For the WNBA. No, it was for all women. For it, all women. It, it, it might be. Soccer, everything. I got people, no, women's basketball. Oh, I got women's basketball. I got scholarships and everything. I post some girl from Canada that I didn't got off YouTube. And a, like Notre Dame or somebody like a college of Syracuse, the coach will write me, write us and be like, hey, who is that? I'm like, oh, she bam, 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 out of Canada. Man, I'm finna offer her. Like, set it up. 
I got people, followers. I got people that's with me today, like Jada Williams, player, basketball players that's famous now. They got famous off that network. You're talking about the ones where you be caught side and you be with the exactly. WNBA all the time yeah. when I see you? A lot of players got rich. That's how a lot of players got fame and got a lot of money and a lot of stuff off of that network. And college scholarships. We was discovering everybody. And the page grew to where it was the only women's basketball outlet in the world, the biggest one in the world, and it was getting crazy numbers. And then off the T-shirts, we might be selling, we could do crazy numbers off the yeah, shirts. Yeah, you got 500,000 followers, you need 10%. It was more you than You need that. 1% to patch it, really, but 10% to patch it. It was more than that. More than 10% patch it? It was more than 10%. Oh, man, that's hit another leg. The money was crazy. Hit another leg, yo. Pay attention, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Pay attention. I'm saying, BB, you passionate about and something? And then camps. Then the camps. The camps start coming. We was doing the women's basketball camps. I had the WNBA players go do the camps with the young girls. Yeah. And then we'd sell out three, five hundred athletes. It would be crazy. So how long How long did you work that company? Two for? years. For two years you yeah. worked that company? Two years. And so, get your phone, bro. Two years, and then, like, people start calling. Big companies. Start calling you free. Yeah, because they wanted it. They wanted your page. Yeah. They wanted all that. They wanted that brand. They wanted everything that it represented. Big company. Four offers. Big offers. Nice offers. Some of the players involved with that. Players? Yeah. Oh, man. Players y'all might not know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I was showcasing everybody. So a lot of the players that's famous now, some of y'all might know, like Jada Williams, Brianna Green. A lot of players, man. Even Griner, even the WNBA athletes. Everybody got... I, I I was po- we was posting everybody. We was just showcasing. So, we was just showcasing the game, bro. So that company. So yeah. when you did that, that like kind of opened the door. So now they know you exactly. They know you. They know you for them. They they you not here like or oh, they think they feel like you for them. Exactly. For the people. Exactly. You know so because you did that for them, it was exactly. So my homegirl Chloe got with me. I made her the face of it. And when I ended up selling it to Overtime, you know, we got some money, we got some shares, just some different things. I can't really... Overtime, what was that? That's the that's the largest online sports media company right now. Yeah. They were in that. Jeff Bezos. Came and bought your company. Exactly. Overtime. Yeah. No disclosure. Yeah. A few million of them. Can't get numbers. Can't get no numbers? Nah, it's illegal. And get sued up here. I can't wait till I start signing deals. But I can't tell y'all the number. Yeah. Let's get to that. I cannot wait. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it's good though. It was a good deal. It was great. It was great for a young black man from Detroit to actually understand how that works. Just to sell a business, to have that on my resume, to make money, to be able to show that I could build something and finish out twice. You get what I'm saying? That was great for me. So, you got another company. Yes. So after that, I was chilling out, cooling. Spending money. Spending a little money. Yeah, familiar with the people in the Louis Vuitton store. Yeah. Right. Moving around a little bit. Yeah. Trying to understand what I want to do next, you know. And I had a couple other things going on, like, that I invested in in sports outside of that. So I started getting money from that. But that was just investments, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just investing and figuring out. Then I was like, one of my players, Tiffany Hayes, WNBA All-Star. She was Shout like, out to Tiffany Hayes. Yeah, she was like... Be, you should be an agent. Like she, I was seeing her agents. They was all whack and corny and goofy. And I'm like, she like, you should be an agent. I'm like, I'm like, damn. How do the money make work? Because everybody, like you said, people be like, oh, WNBA don't make no money and this and this. So I'm just trying to figure out how's the game go. So I realized that a player in the WNBA, let's say if they make you know, two hundred thousand, whatever, in the league for just them three, four months. Overseas, they overseas, they, they might make. Three, four, five, six, seven hundred thousand tax free, you know, mid, whatever, million, mm-hmm. China, Russia, Turkey. Mm-hmm. Now they're getting crazy money tax free. Yeah. And as an agency, you're going to make 10 to 15 percent of that. So, you know, I'm up in the almost 90 player range. So, you know, we, our agency is pretty big. We so your, your, your agency represents 90 players in the WNBA? Nine, no, total. So we got a lot of players in the WNBA, and we also represent Euro players, like oh. players from Europe, too. So, That's from Spain. So and girls that can't even really speak English, they down. Facts. Some of them. They Russian joints and all that. Bro- yeah. Bro- <laughs> yeah. Let's get to that. Bro- broken English. So, like, you know, players from Latvia and Slovenia and... Chris Stapp, Zingas, people's and all that. All that. Italy uh, and Belgium, and they on them national teams 
making heck of money overseas, Italy, all these places, they making hell of money in their countries and different countries in Europe, and they even signed to my brand, so we international. They they they, they holler at you trying to buy that company too? Yeah. I ain't got offers for that company all the time. For the fam, my agency, yeah. We Yahoo Sports said we the fastest growing sports agency in the nation right now as far as numbers. Say it again. Yahoo Sports, mm -hmm. you know what that is? Yeah. They said we the fastest growing sports agency as far as numbers in the world right now. Let's get to that. Yeah. Look, y'all, we got Mark Vuitton in the building. You <laughs> know what I mean? Why, why, why do I call you Mark Vuitton? Let the people know why I call you. I don't you. know, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell you why I call yeah. you Mark Vuitton. Yeah. One time, we had something to do, and, 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 and um, we was going shopping, you heard? So... Marcus Crenshaw, yeah, he wanted to go to the Louis store. No, he was with Germ. Germ wanted to go to the Louis store too, you heard? We in there. The lady showing us stuff. She showed him a jersey. He said, Yo, how much is that? She said, 1200 He said, oh, I want that. Just, I want that. <laughs> hey, really, hey, it was a good jersey. He said, I want that. He looked at me. I, clearly, I didn't oh, get it. one of my players. I got to pick this up. She about to do a deal. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up, Jaden? This WNBA plays cool. Hold on. Anyway, and they just partnered with Google. Uh huh. And they just did a clip with Drewski, and they want to do the same thing with me. So they said, send me the contact. So I'm going to send it to you so you can figure out all the details and stuff. Because that'd be dope. All right, bet. That's lit. All right, I'll text you right now. All right. All right. So you see, she about to do something with Google. She just called. That's see, what's going on? This is real. This is real, real time here. And I'm saying, cause this is not an interview. I don't, I don't do interviews. Let's get that out of the way. This is a conversation between me and Marcus Crenshaw and my man Mark Vuitton. So if you know, don't. This is not an interview. But anyway, yeah. we in the Louis store. She showed him the jersey. He said, "How much that cost?" She said, "Twelve hundred." He said, I, 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 "I want that." So then she showed him something else that cost twelve hundred. He said, "I want that too." <laughs> he said, "Yo, zip." Why you looking like that? I said, yo, sir, everything she said costs $1,200. You asked for it. Like, you tell her you want it. He said, yeah, everything that costs $1,200 in the Louis store, I buy it. <laughs> Why? He said, because nothing costs $1,200 in here. So when something costs $1,200, I buy it. I said, yeah, man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is inspiration right here for me. He's younger than me and all of that. But he did like, he's inspiration, right? He's very inspirational because he's passionate about what he do. He took company, he took an Instagram page. Listening, he took an Instagram page. He sold it for so much money that he can't even tell you how much money he sold it for. <laughs> he sold an Instagram page for so much money that he can't tell you how much he sold it for. That should tell you everything you need to know about your grind. If you focus, if you dedicated to your grind, man, it'll pay off. So you sold them companies. You got another company they state they, they, they making you right sports there. agency that they making you offers. You you plan on selling that company or you want to stick with this like? Because some people don't sell all of their companies. <laughs> you can't sell every company or or is you gonna sell every company? Well, right now that my plan is to keep building it up. You know, more equity into it and yeah, all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I got a lot of players attached to that. We can't talk about selling that. Like, right. Yeah, nah, so keep building it up. Jeez, so and make it better. Make it better. So off that, you see that was a young Jada. That's a young all American. She got a, about eight hundred thousand followers on the gram. Super big. You see, she was talking about a Google deal. She do do great. She played for Arizona. So, um, you know what I want to talk about? Let's talk about we 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 since we own the sports agency thing. Let's talk about how you asked how the the men's and the women's thing, the agent life. Remember what we talked about? Why can't why I don't see men's agents running around Louis Vuitton head to toe? Right. That's the question that you asked. Right. Because, to be honest, this is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share y'all this. This this is a game. This is some gems. This is game. Um, You don't see a lot of men's. Now, some big ones that own some companies, you might see them in it. And, and Lambos and Porsches and all that. Yeah. But the ones who working for them big companies... They don't got it like they that. They don't salad. They don't salad. They don't got it like that. So it's people looking at me like, damn, how you in that every day? How you looking like that? How you dripped all that? Because I make more than them. Detroit players. I make more than them. Right. So they might represent a first round NBA draft pick. But guess what's going to happen? I'm going to break some numbers down. You might represent a first round draft pick that's 15th pick. He might make $4 million, $3 million. 
all the agents gonna be at that guy, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta go to his parents. You gotta fly here. You gotta do this. You gotta give money. You gotta give gifts. So he gonna hit you with a low ball number. Yeah, he I'm gonna, only giving you five percent. No, I'm gonna give you one. Oh, that's bad. right. One or two maximum. So two percent of three million. One percent of two three million is like thirty thousand. I got players on my eight roster that might make three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand in China, Russia, all these places. And our agency will make 50000 off this player, and we don't got to do everything that this guy had to do just to get that one player. So I can have 90 players while they got three, four, five NBA players. And because they got NBA players, people like, oh, my God, they Assume. got NBA players, but they ain't making a, a, a fifth of the money that I'm making. Meanwhile, the, 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 the boss of the company is making all the money. He's making all of the money. Exactly. Because out of the 30000 out of the 1% to 30000 that's his. He's giving you a salary. He's exactly. 100000 a year, 200000 a year. And we built our, I built my own company. We built our own company. Right. So we the owners. Y'all better pay attention, man. That's that's like the, a rule in the streets. That's like hustling on a crowded block. If you see everybody over here, you got to look for other avenues. You can't always just think you got to run over here. You're going to be just like them. You got to go. Sometimes it's, it's money and, and just fun and, you know, Camaraderie, family, it's, it's, that's in another lane. Sometimes. Yo, this is dope, right? Hey, yo, a little bit about you growing up, man. I'm saying, like, you seem like like you, everything you do is involved with sports. I'm saying? Mm hmm You averaged 29 points in high school. Yeah. You think you nice. I was nice. You think you nice. I was nice. Who you play with? Play with. Who you play with? Who, who, who we can ask that's nice that you play with that to be you like, seen nah. me play? That, that, everybody that, from the city. Everybody from what city? Everybody from, from Detroit. Detroit. Everybody. Yeah. So you got like, you know, you got a lot of people. Man. So if I hit Draymond Green right now, he gonna say. He gonna be like Morris Crenshaw got game. Chris Douglas Roberts. He gonna, you remember him? Remember? Yeah, he went to Memphis with yeah, Derrick Rose. He gonna be like Morris Crenshaw got game. He came to the NBA for a little. He played in Jersey for yeah, a while. He played a lot of years yeah, in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Everybody from Detroit, right. man, and from Michigan, gonna be like Marcus Chris. So from that, from that era, from 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 two thousand one to like two thousand and four. No, two thousand and one to two thousand eight. They know facts. You solidify. You stand. You're dropping 30, 40, 50. I'm saying so. Like you in Detroit was like the Sebastian Telfair. Like with Sebastian Telfair, because that's his. That's his era. I played against him. We beat him. I'm saying how much? How many? How many points you had? 16. What he gave you? Maybe I like 19 or something. But we won by like 20. Oh, y'all spanked them? Yeah. Family. They they was the gauchos. We the gauchos? Them. Yeah. Spanked them? Just beat them. Blew them. Can't shoot. <laughs> you got a jump shot? A real jump. I was like Steph. Before Steph. Oh, man. You was like, I want to see but the video. Not, not before Steph, but I'm saying, if you talk, if I if I call some people from Detroit right now, they're going to be like, yeah, he was I told like you Steph. this. Short, 5'10". Oh, so you definitely had to have a jump shot. Sure, yeah. You definitely had to. I was shooting you like jump? Steph, though. Yeah. Jump out the gym? Yeah. You was dunking it and all of that? I could dunk it. But, they, but that was considered bad basketball back then. What? The, the jump shots? Steph Curry jump shots? Yeah, pulling up. Yeah, you can't pull out some bad shots. Steph Curry take bad shots. Steph Curry don't take good. He just make them. No, he good takes shots. bad shots. Them his shots. It was his shots. Those is, but those There's no shots. such thing as bad shots if they his shots. Man, if he miss it, but he ain't missing them his shots. No, but what I'm saying, he do be missing. Nah, he don't he miss miss, he, yeah, he, what, 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 he don't miss. He don't miss up. What's, what's his percentage from three? What's Michael Jordan percentage? But forget about Michael Jordan percentage. We talking about Steph Curry. What's Steph Curry percentage from three? It's good. He the best shooter ever. No. It ain't 50, so he missed more than he made. 50 is unreal. Nobody shoots 50. What? No player in the league that shoots a lot of three shoots 50. Um, What's my man name? Hey, 50. With the 50. Um. Here we go. They, the people did that. So who you taking over Steph Curry for shoot? Nobody. Exactly. In the history Shut of people up. taking shots. Yeah, you, so you exactly. Nobody. Exactly. But he missed a lot of shots though. They just look good when they go in. So people say, oh, that's a that's a bad shot. Bro. Yes, from shooter, bro. Ten feet behind the three point line, you taking a shot. That's a bad shot, bro. For fifty years in the NBA, that was a bad shot. Now he could make it. It's good. No, that's not a good shot. <laughs> we not going for that's a good <laughs> shot, bro. We not jacking that. You funny. <laughs> what? Word. Word. What's up, though, man? Um, so what else you got going on? Like, you got a lot going on. It's hard okay. to, like, keep track. I don't want to look at this phone like I'm looking at notes and none of that. I'm trying to, like, so, what we know. So you know if you want to keep, we can continue. So after the, the sports agency is gone. That's live. It's booming. It's booming. Yeah. That's live. We getting 
15, 20 athletes a year. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got a, um, like a podcast situation about the yeah, Dome, too. I got right? a sports media network that we just, we just a purchased. sports media network. Another one. Another just like She Who's, but bigger. This so, is all sports. Well, network, so what you trying to, like, give other people situations? Yeah, I'm about to tell you what that is. Right, on, so, Bino, yo guy, Bino, Bino yeah. created that name. What's the name of it? All In Sports. Shout out to Bino. Yeah. Bino so, always so what it is is, so that's just launched. I don't know if you've seen that or not. I could talk about the money of that. That's worth 26 million. At launch. So, yeah. Go look at, go type in Yahoo Sports, All In Sports, all the media outlets covered that. They did the evaluation on that. So let me explain that. All In Sports is another media outlet, similar to the one I sold to Overtime, except it's not just basketball. All In Sports, right? What we did is I spent a little over a million. I purchased a lot of other people's networks, like how Overtime came and did me. I got basketball, I got football, I got soccer, I got baseball, and all I made it all one. Where it might have had this many followers, but together it got like 9, 11 million followers. So I made it all Beast. one. Yeah. So now, what we're working on now, we launched Hoops, All In Hoops, we launched the basketball. So we're about to start shooting original shows on there. And then we launch football and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna build that one up and sell it. So with the baseball and all that, you linking up with Nelly and all that, y'all gonna have it? To... Yeah, we gonna we gonna talk about that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I so that's my play. Also, what I'm doing along with running the agency. All right. So what the podcast is gonna be about? Because people might want to tune in for that. Man. Basketball. The 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 hoops gonna be all about basketball. The football gonna be about football. The soccer gonna be about soccer. It's a whole sports network conglomerate that I purchased and put it all together. Yeah, I'm trying to hit a hundred. I get a hundred million on it. Irv Gotti talk. That's that Irv Gotti talk. I don't know Irv Gotti. I'm just saying that's that Irv Gotti talk. We just heard him on another podcast and we're talking about hundred million. That hundred, hundred from the hood, hundred is a hundred. Yeah, I can hit a hundred. Mm. I'm gonna hit a hundred on this one. Forty forty. Yeah. Mm. I'm thirty six. Yeah, hell yeah. You got kids? Yeah, I got a daughter. Got a daughter? Yeah. How old she at? One. Bless her little heart. Yeah. Daddy about to make you rich. She rich already. You gonna be bougie. She rich. Woo. But but I'm, I, I'm that's my goal. I'm gonna hit hundred, and I'm saying that on here just so I can hold myself accountable to it. Made it public. Made put it, it in public. the air. Yeah, made it public. Put it, put it. Much only is you manifest it. I manifest it. Got to put that in the air so people know what I'm trying to do. There ain't a secret with that one. Now I might keep the agency. We'll see. But this one. Bino name. Did Bino got um stake in the company? Yeah, he got a little stake. All right. I got to give his contract, though. All right, say that. Yeah, yeah, I got to give him. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yo, man, that's a nice sweater, by the way, too, man. I was looking, I was looking at the man. That's a nice sweater. Louis Vuitton. This is Louis Vuitton. Mark Vuitton, y'all. I'm Mrs. Mark Vuitton. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you hear what you talking about, Louis Vuitton. Y'all might want to holler at him. He might can do something for y'all. Like, get y'all back, like, you know what I mean? Looking like y'all. Respectfully, um... <laughs> No, you got brothers, sisters, and all of that? Yeah, I got brothers. I got two brothers. Two brothers? They in the business with you? No. One of them, he about to get in the business with me. The other one had just got out of jail. He did like, maybe like 10 years, 11 years, 20 years. Hey, yo, look at this, people. Yeah. Man, from where you from, man. Mm-hmm. Brother, one um, brother in James ain't from the hood. Streets of Detroit. Everybody know that ain't no running the pushover city. That's rough. They went from having a million people 30 years ago. It's about... 300,000 people there, and that's rough living, man. Man came out the slums, man. Mm-hmm. Man came out the slums, I man. had good parents, though. I'd be sure. Shout Two out to parents. your parents, man. Yeah. Both of them. The whole time you was growing up. Yeah, I was like the, I was like one of the only people. Some of the only people, like when I started getting to high school and stuff, that had like two parents on the basketball team and stuff like that. Mom and dad at the game for you. Always. I'm saying, what do you, what do you think that did for you? Oh, everything. That's why I'm like that with my daughter now and my family. I think it did everything because even when I was in college, bro, like we might have a game, we might play against Arizona or something, and like playing against Arizona, I hit a lot of threes versus them too, versus Jared Bayless and them. But like we would play versus Arizona or versus UCLA when we went to play Westbrook and them. And people, my parents would come from Detroit and be at the games. And Fire. Yeah. They that type of support makes they me get busy. Yeah. They never missed a high school game, never missed a middle school game. You say you cooked Jared Bayless when y'all played him? I outscored him. I outscored him. I outscored Patty Mills. I'll score Russell Patty Westbrook. Mills, Patty, what Patty Mills went again? St. Mary's. St. Mary's, yeah. Him, somebody what? else went there. Somebody else went there. Steve Nash went to St. Mary's. No, he went to uh, Santa Clara. Santa Clara. Yeah. Uh, but when we played Westbrook and then we both was coming off the bench, 
Because I remember Westwood was in UCLA. Yeah, the freshman year. I was a national sixth man of the year that year and sixth man of the year in the Big West. And we, I was coming off the bench. I probably had like maybe 15 off the bench, something like that. Westbrook was coming off the bench for Darren Collins. Exactly, bro. exactly. That's him and Aaron the follow and all. I remember exactly. that. Exactly. Like, yeah, we almost that. beat that team, too. I think we lost by maybe three or four. It was a close game. Because I had a few NBA players on my team, too. Who was in the league from your team? Do you know a guy named Bobby Brown? Bobby Brown. So ball he, head, he was ball headed. He was ball headed. Yeah, I remember Bobby yeah, Brown playing for Denver. Denver. He played, he, for, play for he played for Denver. He played for Sacramento. He played for a lot short, of short, 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 boy. short. Yeah, he played for yeah, Denver. Yup, him. Uh, I don't know if you know this guy named Joshua Quayne, Frank Robinson. So all them three like played, got to play in the league. Uh, mm-hmm. that was great. You still, you still in touch with any of your like your college teammates? Yeah, you know? Instagram and all that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Cool with everybody. <laughs> But that experience was like going to school and all. Like a lot of people from the hood don't get to live. Yeah, yeah. so at first... Kent State, wait, where was Kent State no, at? That was, no, that was Kent State. This is Cal Fullerton. Cal Fullerton. Oh, so it's you Kent State. Yeah, yeah, but Kent, was Kent State Fullerton. was straight. It was like freshman year. Where's that at? Ohio. Oh, so that ain't too far from Michigan. Exactly, exactly. It was just like a whole interesting thing. I didn't really like it. So I transferred. But then once I transferred to Fullerton, that was my first time in Los Angeles. So I was from Detroit. Cali. I went to Cali. Wide open. Wide open. It was so much fun. Yeah, that was too much fun. Balling out there. Six man of the year. Living on campus. Living on campus. Six man of the year. Twice. You know, you really nice in basketball. You can't get those type of accolades not being nice. I was straight. I was doing my thing. Short like You this. still can play? I don't know. I ain't played in a long time. Your knees is bad? No, just be handling business. I don't be thinking about that shit. Because you be talking like, 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 and I think you think Detroit people is better than New York people in basketball. They are. They are not. Shit. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have as many rings. Huh? Let's get that out the way. The rings and what? Respectfully, Queens got more rings than the whole Detroit. Who the fuck is Queens? Champions, Queens, New York got more rings than the whole... Who do Queens, New York have? Lamar Odom. Who? Ron Artest. Crackhead. So what if he a crackhead? <laughs> so what if he a crackhead? Ron Artest, crazy. Yeah, but they got rings, they got championships. These niggas is crazy. Bob Cousy. What you gonna say about him? No. All right, Frank, let's get that. All right, we more Jamie the same. Kenny Smith. Draymond Green, Michigan. Oh, Magic Johnson, Michigan. Michigan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Magic Johnson is one of the greatest whoa, basketball players. Whoa, 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 He's one of the greatest whoa. basketball players of all time. I can't take that from you. With the okay, ball. okay. Let's do it like this. New York, let's do a starting five right now. Michigan versus New York. Do we get to put Jordan in there? Hell no. He's from Brooklyn. He ain't made a, made a jump shot He ain't never drink no water in Brooklyn. I respect that. All right, cool. Oh, let's it. go. Point guard, who you got? Mm. New York versus... That's hard. The point guards in New York, that's that's a, that's the hardest position. Now, let's, let's, let's no, that, that's, that's supposed the hardest to, position. That's, that's supposed York. to be your main position. Exactly. None so of them niggas can't shoot. What? Hmm? Said I Marbury. Lie. If Kenny Said Marbury. Marbury. Marbury had a jump shot. Okay, if so Kenny Anderson would have had a jump Hurry shot. up and pick the point. I don't, I don't want to pick the point first. No. I'll pick the point guard last. I no. Think about that. Let's go step. All right. No, let's pick the you point. You pick the five first. No, let's pick the point. Teams have started with your point. Stop being scared. You just want to pick Magic Johnson against that person. That's all you want to do. And then you want to pick Magic and then we Johnson. Don't go to the two. The two is like see point point. <coughs> Magic Johnson. Now who you got? It don't even matter. Stephon Marbury. He's not the best point guard coming out. Kenny of Anderson. He's really gonna get killed. Pick one. Stephon Marbury might be the best. Too little. I need a big point guard. Ain't none, man. I need Lance. That's Jersey. Lance, Lance against Magic Johnson. I'm saying I need Lance. Lance gonna make him dance. Lance gonna make him dance. Okay, okay. You got Lance. Kyrie Irving. I got Kyrie Irving. He is Irvin. from New Jersey. I got Kyrie Irving. Okay. All right. Lance Stevenson versus Magic Johnson. Shooting guard. Who you got? Shooting guard. New York City. Just gonna tell it all. I gotta go like Bob Cousy. Man. I gotta go Bob Cousy. I'm done, man. <laughs> <laughs> kill y'all, I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying two from New York. Let me see. I, I, I'm okay. At the point guard, I'm going Raw Strickland, man. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. I got Raw Strickland as the Magic point. Johnson. Cool. He's going to cook Magic. That's a fact. He used to be cooking Mike. You want to see the highlights? How long is this in I got highlights. Oh, let me do Hey, yo, hey, yo, you here? Hey, yo, you here, Bray? Yeah. You here? Yeah. All right, pull up. Come on. All right, come down to somebody. Come down to somebody. Come give me. I just talk to my uncle. Yeah. Right now. All right, say that. All right. Hey, yo, man. Yeah, I got raw strength. I got highlights right now. Him cooking Mike. You want to see him? Cooking Mike. And yeah, we know how Mike do magic. All right, man. All right, so bro, I got raw strength at the one. Okay. You got magic. Yeah. At the two. Shooting goal. I, I'll take me? my two. So I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to put for Michigan, I'm going to put, uh, 
Magic, I'm going to go with George Gervin. George Gervin? None of y'all can't fuck with him. Old isn't everything. I'm going to go with... I'm, you know what? No, I'm going to go with Steve Smith. Fuck it. I'm going to go with Glenn Rice. I'm going to go with Chris Webber. Steve Smith is my son. Y'all niggas ain't... Yes, you crazy nigga. Ron Ron is gonna make sh- them niggas gonna be scared to play against Ron Ron. Lamar Odom, 6'10 handle. You can't, y'all can't do nothing with that. All right. Y'all couldn't do nothing with that. Right. And then I got some other, I got some other things. Lance is yes. making them dance. I can play, play them at the one, two, order. All right. So who won? It Who's depends. Magic can't, magic can't shoot. Chris Webber can't shoot me. Y'all can't do Chris Webber can't shoot me. Ryan, Jake, Glenn Rice can. Glenn Rice can shoot. Steve Smith can. We got some shooters. Jalen Smith can J- shoot. Jalen Rose can. Jalen Smith can Jaylen shoot. Rose can. Jalen Rose had a Jimmy. Jimmy Rick, J- Jason Richardson can and dunk. Um, Maurice Peterson can. Come on, man. Y'all ain't better than this. Yes, we is, bro. Okay, you got it. We got more championships, All right, bro. man. Troops. We got more championships, bro. All right, cool. It's facts. <laughs> and Magic Johnson. Yeah. You can name Magic. Who else you gonna name? Him and Draymond? That's nine rings I got, right? Draymond Green. Magic and Draymond, that's all the rings I got, right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's no more. I gotta count them up. I don't think it's no more there. You good, man. Y'all Cause I know we got Ron Ron, Kenny Smith. All right, look, I don't want all these New York people in my D. I know, cause y'all, they follow you. I don't want y'all coming over here talking shit and talking about, oh, you motherfucking and all that. Cause I'm better than y'all niggas. <laughs> hey, yo, we gonna get him in one of these cages in <laughs> what New about York that? City, man. I'm better than all y'all niggas. Yeah, he went overseas over to play ball, so he probably is better than you, you heard? He went overseas to play ball, had a nice <laughs> career, came back, and Turned into a stone cold willy on him. Right? And I kind of live here, so I love New York, though. No bullshit. Kind of live here? Yeah, I live here. You like New York? My fiance from here. All right, what's the difference between New York and Detroit? Oh, man. Shit, it's so different. The cost of living. Yeah. That's yeah. number one. That big ass city. Detroit ain't this big. Detroit's this, small? Yeah. This city is crazy. There's so many schools and so much going on. Um, You know, just a lot of stuff going on here. We got a small market, man. Just like rap, you see y'all rappers be more national than our rappers. Our rappers are starting to come, you know, be national now. So speaking of those, you you kind of cool with Peasy, right? Yeah, some of my close friends, business partners. Yeah, we went to high school together too. Yeah, yeah, it's my man's. Kind of interesting, man. Who me? Yeah, well, I'm interesting because I went to high school like that, but you don't see me as that kind of guy. No, you went to high school with Peasy. You went overseas to play basketball. You took an Instagram company and sold it. <laughs> you got another company that Yahoo said is worth twenty six million dollars. You got another company that you sold it. Yeah, you inter- that's interesting. <laughs> for sure, for sure. That's interesting. And you from the slums, so like that's like they don't like we don't just the inner city. Yeah, the slums. <laughs> So you saying this? Yeah, it's kind of. Slum. It's the that bro. It's definitely the blackest. In the, it's the poor. You know what? That's what it is. Detroit, one of the poorest cities in the country, in the blackest, y'all. That you know. <laughs> Detroit went bankrupt. It did. I never remember no city going bankrupt until I heard that about Detroit, bro. Right. Kwame Kwame killed Patrick in them. That was that. Yeah, game. he used to be at the games with minks on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> city going broke. He full of thing and all that. We know it was pinky going, rings and all that. We know it's going broke. But no, it's it's so different, so different. This is like a huge city. It's, it's this is this is this is next level. You gonna stay? And I live in Miami too. Oh, that money. You ain't got no Cali house. No, man. You gonna get a house in Cali? No, I don't come back out there. You don't like it? No, I don't like all that gang stuff. I can get that. I like here, Miami. That's good. Then German them here, my boys here. I met y'all. I met everybody. So I like New York. They embrace me. All y'all, y'all embrace me. Charm, whole winter circle crew, everybody. So it's like, I'm good with that here. Say that. Let's get to that. Y'all heard it here first. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you didn't hear it here first, but you heard it here from the horse's mouth himself, man. How you can make you a whole bunch of money, man, off of Instagram. Definitely. Start you a page. He said he had zero followers. Two months later, he had 200,000 followers. Like then he sold money. it for so much money and can't even tell you how much he sold it for. <laughs> he said I had to sign a non disclosure on the number. This is not, this is real shit here. Y'all need to patch in, see what he got going on. Try to steal what he did, steal our ideas, steal on, try to add it to what you, what you, what you got socks? Yep. What you got socks with faces on it? Do what he did. Whatever you got going on, you could do it. Man, you see me? I went from the couch. Now you pushing. To this good old studio, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to the people at Podcast Central. They got me looking good in here, you heard? <laughs> Let's get to that. Sure. Hey, yo, man. Appreciate you, bro. Good interview. Alright. This wasn't an interview. This was a conversation. Good conversation. Let's get to that. Let's get to that.